Well, hello and good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Port Royal Speed Palace. The Bob Hubbard Sportswear Short Track Super Series fueled by Sunoco returns to the Port Royal Speedway for the Speed Showcase, highlighted by a springtime $50,000 to win 75 lap Short Track Super Series modified event. Replacing the O-ring in the oil tank. Let me see your shirt. I love it. Very pretty. Kelly and Nadia, are you going to be on the video? You want to be on the video? Yeah. Can you tell everybody where we are? A races. We're at the races? Yeah. Who's going to win tonight? Daddy. Heck yeah. Hey. Yeah. Uh, like Alright everybody, if you can move in quick, uh, before we get into the meeting, first let's we'll start out with our prayer. You know, we put a hundred loads of clay in the racetrack, didn't get a chance to put any other cars on before this event. Uh, it's Orchard, Pennsylvania, you know? Yeah, yeah, people coming, people coming from all over the country. People coming. What do you got? Told you. <laughs> Number one for Cousin Luke. One of the good numbers going early. Mike Mahaney will be up next. Mahaney won his qualifier. The only driver to not set quick time in his hot lap session and win his qualifier. Mike uh, made the right adjustments for the qualifier. What do you got to do to make the right adjustments for the 75 lapper? Oh, there's a lot to think about. You know, it's a long race. 75 laps here is like well over 100 anywhere else. Um, like Ronnie said, there's going to be some attrition, tire wear, a lot to think about, uh, fuel mileage. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, hopefully we can keep the wheels on it for 75 laps and uh, be there at the end. What did that feel good for you? Number two, great job. <laughs> Mike Mahaney will go for position number two. Be Houston will be up next. What did Bubba draw? Yeah. One for four. Two. Matt Badges will yeah. be one for four. Go. when they take the hood off right after hot lap. But hopefully they're just checking, just checking everything. But hey, I don't think we've talked yet. I don't think we've talked yet. So we are here at Port Royal Speedway. It is day number two. Today is the day, the day. 75 laps, 50,000 to win, speed showcase. As you saw, BB threw drew, drew for Mike. Mike starts second. Billy will start 12th since he just missed the redraw last night in the qualifier. Um, so we got hot laps. That's it. Uh, we go right into features later, but they're gonna run the, the last chance Conzies um, next, and then it goes into feature. Your pocket. Where's your pockets? 
Mike's eyeballs because he ran out of contacts. Luckily, his wife carries a stash. I tell you, good girl. I learned. I learned. What is it? Eight years? California. But modified counties are about to go out, so well, everyone's kind of doing some work. Hanging out a little bit. We'll take a ride out here. That was it. Starting position, driving out of Frenchtown, New Jersey, and the kid racing number one. It's the kids, kid Billy Pouch Jr. At the Port Royal Speedway, he hails out of Elizabethtown, New York, in the Adirondack Auto. George Huddig owned Huddig Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram number 35, Mike Mahaney. Again, it's 150 points to win, and Shepard has already locked up 60 points. So nobody more than forty-eight. Forty-eight. All right. Keep on that track. Maybe you look good. Yes. Obviously, now it's seventy-five laps. But talk about from your experience what it's like to go around Port Royal Speedway in a modified and just in your career in general how it's changed over the years yeah i ran i think when i went with keystone pretzel or glenn heineman in 87 we ran small blocks here and that was the first time i ever won they started early in the year here and i think it was march and uh we won a small block race that was my first win here and and then after that i think i won a all-star race with zemco with the sprint car and 
we ran some of Brett's shows here, and I never ran a 200 or anything, but uh, I ran some of the other races, and it's progressed a lot since I first started coming here. I mean, you know, the pits used to be in the infield here. Now they're on the out, outside of three and four there, and they're all paved, and, you know, the grandstands are, are all rebuilt and higher, and I was up there scoping things out. And even with these trailers in the infield, you can see everything, you know. it's They do a pretty impressive job here. It's probably the show place the east here for, for racetrack. What's the biggest change since you started coming here to now that you really notice in Port Royal Speedway? Well, I mean, the track's the same. It's the same size, same banking, all that's the same, but the walls are different, and, uh, you know, the grandstands, I mean, these are immense grandstands, and uh, they hold a lot of people, and uh, I'd have to say that's probably the most impressive thing, and they got the stackers out of the infield, put them up there in three and four, so you can you can see pretty good here, and, and the lights are like daylight, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's just fantastic. Now, if you could give a piece of advice, if you haven't already, uh, to your son, what are you telling him coming into the race here in just a few moments? I keep reminding him it's 50000 to win. <laughs> yeah, it's always important to remember what the paycheck is at the end, right? Money always made me hungry. I don't know. We've got to see if he steps up and makes him hungry. Well, hey, we appreciate you being here with us, and hope we got an exciting one to watch. Thank you. Billy Pouch Sr. Guys, we'll send it back up top to you. Good to have Billy Pouch back at the Port Royal Speedway. Oh, that's fast. Oh, she's like... see what turns three and four is, is laid out there in the grassy knoll right there but yeah that was uh, a, a sight to see uh, going to Penn National on Sundays for those of you who are tuning in at home on flow the drivers are buckling in and we're getting some close-ups as they get their helmets on their cars are loading on to the track Johnson, he'll lead them off the turn as they're two by two by three down the back straightaway. Oh, Jessica Friesen gets shuffled here on the opening lap. She catches a door from a driver. She'll fall back, but we will work through three and four, clean and green. Lap number one in the books, and RJ picking up right where he left off last night. Ronnie Johnson out in front. Mahaney go down, one and shrunk your top five on the opening lap.
sudden, Ronnie Johnson has really lost some speed here in lap traffic, got to the back bumper of Dylan Stoyer, and then had to slow up. Mount Mahaney pushes up the racetrack. Mahaney got too high down in one and two. Lap 11. Ooh, Mike just got Ronnie Johnson, and they call it back. Well, they didn't call it back. They threw the yellow. Mike's back to third. Billy's in 11. this time by so these drivers got their courtesy laps and it is on them now you got to get back out <laughs> You see Billy on his way in and keep an eye just ahead of him. Yeah. Yeah, 
that's me, we're done. Something's blowing in there. Something what? That ain't good. Before it does blow, we're done. Before it does blow, we're done. Okay, we're done. Before it blows. Yep, helmet's coming off, so the kids' kids' opportunity for 50 grand will go by the wayside. Tough break for Billy Jr. Take the hood up. 37 to go, Mike's in eighth. Billy's cars, I don't know where Billy's going, but I don't know if it's a motor. He's done. Looks like they're making an adjustment, they're changing some tires. Back to 13th, Mahaney will come into the pit area. 16X of Danny Creighton, I believe, is in. See Mahaney's guys, they will change tires as well. So we've seen quite a few guys trying to make this move and change tires. I don't know of anybody that it's really paid out for in a big way at this point. I haven't seen any drivers we've seen on pit road suddenly march their way back forward but these guys continue to give it a shot we've seen the six of matt stangle on pit road almost every yellow 35 of mahaney on the way i got it right Woo! sounds like they're going green <laughs> Start 12th, we were rolling 11 12th the whole race, and uh, I had a freak accident. Actually, a pit, a little rock came up, hit the radiator, put a little pit hole in it, and uh, then I started getting real loose with backpedaling. And I'm like, why the heck am I so freaking loose? And uh, it was water on the on the tires. So uh, not anybody's gonna do. It's what it is. Uh, it's the struggles of when things aren't going your way. So we'll get back and go at it next week. Uh, 
it was crazy. Uh, the the track, you know, going out there and having what you got, and and the track prep going on was kind of like a, you know, it's rosy for a loop because you don't know what to put on the car. And, um, we were good for the for the first few laps, and then I started dropping and then dropping some more and dropping some more, and then. Uh, you know, getting a little bit back and then losing it. So I just feel like, felt like maybe we're, we're gonna have to pit and try to come back through the field. And uh, we did pass some cars. We got back up. You're out, you got to 11th. As far as 11th, okay, from, uh, I don't know. 20 something. 20, yeah. So I uh, did get somewhere, but uh, amazing that the winner of the race made it on the, the original set of tires. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know what we needed there, other than just more traction and and uh, grip. So just uh, totally different situation than what we qualified on, and um, tough to know what changes to make, I guess, and, and to be to be uh, hooked up and not sliding. Just kind of we're just kind of hanging, getting in and, and to the center, but. Uh, yeah, and with all that track prep, it's amazing how quickly it, it did get slick again. So it didn't take long, and, and it was slick, and then it was uh, ripping up again. Um, so interesting race. Really cool that they do this, and that they're they're paying fifty grand to win, and hope they yeah. keep doing it. And uh, we'll try again next time. Shout out to Jake for feeding us, and just like that. We are loaded up. Awesome. Just like that. Everyone's loading up and heading out. My fun bucket is full. <sighs> Not the results we wanted, but you have that. You have that, right? What are you gonna do? I don't know. But we were gonna <laughs> our our plan was to camp the whole weekend and we were like if we do well we're staying and celebrating we didn't do well I like the dad I'm like we're going home <laughs> take me home so we're gonna go find him in the camper we're gonna make our trek I'll see if I get dad's two cents if not this is the ending as you know it and uh and I think next race is Bridgeport next weekend so this place is freaking bittersweet. You wanna, you wanna do well here, but just haven't, they have not mastered it yet. So, I don't know. I think they made the right decision by working on the track for sure. Cause apparently the sportsman race turned into like a tire race like Georgetown last weekend. So that's the last thing that they wanted to happen, a remake again. However, towards the end, what do you do? 75 laps. That's what happens, so hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, dad's calling. My ride. Hang on, bye. Well, again, not the results we wanted. I look like a hot mess. I look like I'm homeless. This is great. It's a great look. But <sighs> grateful there weren't a ton of crazy crashes. I mean that sportsman race prior to us was wild. So, really happy that no one got hurt. There wasn't anything crazy that happened. Um, I'm glad uh, the guys on Billy's crew and dad, they all noticed, you know, the antifreeze coming out of Billy's car. And so, Billy took off, didn't know that was the problem. And uh, dad, radi dad went to official and said, you got to pull him in because that's going to hurt the motor. So, glad, glad they did that. Uh, cause that wouldn't have been good. That would have been a lot more expensive. Uh, and for Mike, yeah, we just, I don't know. I don't know if it's tire game. I don't know. Don't know what it is, but do time, <laughs> do time. So made it back to Jersey. Got to unload the motor home. All the guys should be rolling in any minute here and, uh, just gonna do it all over again. Oh, let me tell you what, GoPros, I, I can't, I just cannot. 
anyone out there that just like wants to do my job come on over please because Mike's GoPro is the newest GoPro and it shut off how why I don't know Billy's perfectly fine so I'm like lose lose I just can't figure these GoPros out to save my life so anyone else have these problems but anyway so thank you appreciate you all not the greatest results but we finished put the notes in the in the setup book move on come back here in October I think we come back but uh yeah so like subscribe share head over to patreon become part of club dtu and we will catch you guys next weekend